Okay guys, good afternoon. Welcome to La Pez, Bolivia. I'm excited to say I'm about to ride on the cable car that the city is very famous for. Got no real plan, just thinking of riding the cable car all day. Let's uh, check it out, I'm outside the station now. Here's the map of the network guys, it's enormous, it's one of the biggest engineering projects in South America. Right now we're in Armentia, so we're going to be riding on the orange line, and I want to try to do a whole loop, so do the silver, the yellow, let's see how we go, I need to get a ticket. Okay guys, we're in, I got a ticket for all lines for Once Bolivianos, it's about uh, one US dollar, and here we go. Hello. Look at this beautiful city. How big it is. 4,000 meters above sea level. Oh, guys, that was so cool. I knew the city was big, but I didn't quite appreciate the scale until I'm um, 100 meters in the air above it. So that was the orange line. And now I believe from here we can change to the linea blanca, the white line. Let's have a look. Oh, this is so cool, man. Just gonna ride it all day. All right, guys, we're now on the white line. And this is like one of the biggest engineering projects in the world really, it's underrated. Nowhere like nowhere else in the world is there a cable car like this. People use to get to and from work. You see them in ski slopes. But here people people take it instead of the bus. I guess for a city so unique in its geography, you need a public transport system that matches it, right? Crazy. Guys, we're changing from the Blanca to the Celestial line. Look how clean these stations are. I must say I'm thoroughly impressed with Bolivian public transport. I was on the bus the other day as well and that works really well. They got a good thing going here. So one small judgment we can pass on the Bolivian public transport network is that none of the stations have any bathrooms. So I've had to come out here, this random part of the city, pay one Boliviano to use a Skodi one down the road. It's about 10 cents. But while we're here, look at this sick alien armadillo thing. How cool is that? All right, I've got my Minion Donut. What a day this is. Cable cars and donuts. I'm living life right now. That donut was mean. Now it's time to get back on the cable car. Is this real? Bunch of army guys about to have a fight with some protesters. I think it might be a drill, but that's what I'm... This crazy city, bro. Okay, guys take a little break from the uh, cable car and have a walk around this random neighborhood right up in the hills of La Paz. Let's check it out.
a good view as to why the cable car was necessary. Up here is a city called El Alto. It's actually a different city, it's a sister city. And the bats down here. And before the cable car, migration between the two was just impossible. The roads are so steep and there's just millions of people trying to get around every month. Roads were blocked, buses were overcrowded. And that's why the cable car first came into use. Let all these people down into the capital, do all their shopping, get to work, get to school. Man, this place is crazy. Okay guys, this is where I was hoping to get to today. We've made it to El Alto. Like I was saying, the sister city of La Paz. But the more that both of them have grown, they've essentially just become one enormous city here in the sky. Supposedly it's a little bit dangerous for tourists, but today there's a big flea market on, which I want to check out. Let's have a look here. <laughs> this place is over. I've been to some crazy marketplaces in South America so far, but this has got to take the cake. Endless streets. And everyone has these like loudspeakers that advertise their goods. So overstimulating. Oh, very, very cool. Massive bucket of chicken heads here. It's a hygienic place to put your shoe. This market is so wild. I swear Bolivia is like a simulation or something. I've had to duck into this little tent for some food. It's a massive bit of chicken, rice, banana, salad, potatoes. About two dollars. Let's give it a go. Yeah, this food is so good. I really should be more careful because I've already been sick like three times in Bolivia. But it's like, if I go through my entire life, without trying all the Bolivian street food I want out of fear of death. Did I ever truly live? Food for thought. Damn, that was good. Bit of a miss trying to eat a chicken thigh with a spoon, but uh, I swear the sound of a hundred Bolivians shouting makes food taste way better. Let's get out of here. What a place, man. I could walk for hours, honestly. So much to see. But um, I think it's time to return to the cable car. The sun's about to set. Man, these stations are high tech, though. You might not associate Bolivia with such efficient public transport, but uh, here you go. Very impressive.
general, guys. It's fair to say I love La Paz. I think it's an unmissable stop on any journey to South America. The city's beautiful, people are friendly, public transport supremely underrated. Anyway, I'll um, catch you next time. Thank you for watching. Cheers.